I got a little bit of a game for you guys today. We're gonna play a round of our movie version of Would You Rather, so it's picking between two things and then explaining why you would choose one or the other. Hmm. So first off, would you rather screw up every take yourself or have somebody else screw up your best take? That's tough. Oh, that's... I'd rather screw up every take myself if it means I still get to use my best take. Ooh, does that reveal something horrible about you me? You kind of get the best of both worlds there, so I understand. Yeah. I think I have to steal that because that's so good. Yeah, nice. Okay. <laughs> Would you rather work with a director who gives you too many notes or not enough? Too many. Oh, if they're good notes, I'll take them. If 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 the but if they're bad notes, I would rather have none. Now you're working the game a little bit. Okay, see, okay, you're right. I want to have it always. I know this is like a yes or no game, and I'm a I'm fudging bit, a little bit. But I, under I understand best. why. Um, when it comes to motion capture, do do you have more room to play there than you do, let's say, when you're doing the live action material? You know, I want to say maybe. So I want to say it depends, but yeah. I mean. In the sense of you're not limited really to where you walk. I mean, you can be because Bob would be like, you're here, da 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 da. But, you know, you have a freedom in the acting, I think, that you don't always get live action because if you do something fabulous and your back happens to be turned, yeah. later he can mm -hmm. have the camera on you. Although, if this yeah. is your first time doing CGI and motion capture, then you will not understand how it translates, and you may make some mistakes. If you had to give someone out there trying this for the very first time, just one pointer, one tip to ease them into it, what would it be? Um, I would give them the advice that uh, Steve gave that I did not take to heart as much as I should have, which is that you do not need to play it as a doll at all. Um, that will be done for you and do it as naturally and most inhumanly as, as possible. And I, for some reason, did not really ingest and metabolize that and <laughs> kind of put a hat on a hat. She's lying. She's so good <laughs> in the film. I agree. She's kind. Would you rather work on a set with no food or no caffeine? Oh, no food. No food. We cannot yeah. go without the caffeine. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've finally found two people who are on the same it. page as me. Yeah. I mean, yeah. caffeine's everything. Would you rather do a scene where you have to eat the entire scene or run throughout the entire scene? Run. I can't do either of these things. I didn't say I could do it. Oh, you all said right. I would rather. I'd rather be <laughs> able to run for an entire scene. No, that's a fair point Probably there. Probably better at eating, but uh, yeah. I feel like you never really think about how many times you have to do the eating scenes over yep. and over and over, and then it's not fun anymore. I always think about, you know, I, because I don't eat so many things, I think, oh, how, what would I do? I think about how good uh, James Gandolfini was in The Sopranos at eating. Always he just made you, wanna, he made, made you want to eat mm, whatever he was eating wine. so badly. The toughest one, or at least what I think is the toughest one, would you rather have to fake sneeze or fake vomit in a scene? Oh, fake I know. sneeze. Fake sneeze. But it's tough. Just because the retching could get um, tough on the throat. I have, a, I have a hard time imagining myself doing a convincing fake sneeze, though. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I know. I know. It's like that was really like, good, and you almost, I almost let that, like, needy actor who wants I know, approval. It's like, okay, but I can show you. I'll show you. I'll it. try it. Love me. Love me. You know, like, Except in an hour, we're going to be in approval. the other room going, and they're going to all be you fake. You can see the montage of fake sneezes I've accumulated over the last two years. You're something talented. Else. It's something that, it's else. It's good. That's a really good, uh, that's a good one. To switch okay. gears, just to wrap me. this up quickly. Um, so this movie is very, Mark's story in this movie is very, very specific, but the whole idea of just emotional healing through art is so universal so do you guys have any hobbies an artistic hobby anything like that that kind of helps you center yourself hmm I don't have any hobbies I just work but I think that's a hobby to that me. counts yeah yeah I don't find acting centering unfortunately I wish I did um, when I was a kid I had a dollhouse and I loved that and maybe there was something cathartic about having that yeah 